all right hello my dear so in this video you are going to learn a lot of things and uh, let me share with you today in this video i'm going to share with you a couple of tips and tricks and that's why you can easily solve uh, gate problems right or maybe numerical problems will ask in university examination so the purpose of making this video is to help you to understand parallel flow and counter flow uh, for different condition as well as in simple condition so let's get started well this is one of the type of heat exchanger you can say if you wanted wanted to classify heat exchanger then there are many ways and according to flow we are having two types of i mean three types of heat exchanger one is parallel flow counter flow and another one is cross flow but in case most of the time we got question from parallel flow and counter flow with some simple secret or simple little bit extra things i am going to share with you in this video only that's why you don't need to go anywhere else right so what is parallel flow we need to know what is parallel flow and what is counter flow if the direction of flow is different i mean if the flowing the uh, hot fluid or cold fluid is flowing the direction is same that is known as parallel flow if direction is different just i must say opposite then it is known as counter flow i hope you understand but this is only the basic approach we need to understand it in that way that's why we can solve numerical problems related to this topic all right so let's go for it so first of all we have to draw a parallel flow heat exchanger and a counter flow heat exchanger okay and remember my dear before going to solve any question any question related to parallel flow and counter flow heat exchanger you need to first draw the diagram without drawing diagram you cannot solve the problem right away you need to understand this my dear this is most important right okay so this is a case of parallel flow and this is a case of counter flow okay got it now suppose that this one is th1 this one is th2 tc1 and tc2 so here it is tc2 and tc1 th2 th1 now what happened most of the time we get question related to this that we are giving a parallel flow exchanger we are giving counter flow exchanger this 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 that that and find out lmtd find out lmtd so we know that theta 1 minus theta 2 natural log theta 1 by theta 2 we know the formula and theta 1 is difference between these two difference between these two theta 2 and theta 1 and respective here only okay let me share with you how how you can find out these differences that means theta 1 okay, as you can see here theta 1 is equal to th1 minus tc1 and theta 2 is equal to th2 minus tc2 for the case of this these two formula is only applicable for parallel fluid exchanger remember that and for counter flow it will be changed little bit th1 minus tc2 and theta2 is equal to th2 minus tc1 so these formulas by using these formulas we can easily find out parallel fluid exchanger i mean lmtd for parallel fluid exchanger and counter fluid exchanger now secretive what is that what is that that is most important that is most of the time most of the time we get theta 1 is equal to i mean we can get only get only get for the case single case only that theta 1 is equal to theta 2 for the case of counter flow heat exchanger okay if this happen then how we can find out lmtd because we are having one thing here theta 1 minus theta 2 then lmtd will become 0 if theta 1 is equal to theta 2 are you getting me okay don't worry let me give you an example suppose that we are having a theta 1 is equal to 40 degree centigrade and theta 2 is equal to 40 degree centigrade same temperature differences then what and this is only can happen in case of counter flow heat exchanger remember that and then what would be the value of lmtd for this case lmtd would be 40 degree centigrade simple trick and this question and uh, this type of question already asked in gate i have solved i don't remember the exact question but i'm sure i have solved this type of problem already 
okay i hope you understand the concept what i mean to i, I wanted to share with you now next topic okay let me change the page okay yeah we got fresh page right now so this is important most of the student miss this part what right now i am going to share with you that is case there are two special cases we most of them most of the student missed because they don't have they don't study and then go they don't go a little bit in depth that's why they miss this that is two cases are there one is for steam condenser and another one is for steam generator steam condenser and steam generator these two cases are most important and play most important role and you know one thing my dear these two cases having two two diagrams i mean for steam let's say i'm going to share with you here parallel flow and counter flow diagram for steam condenser and here i'm going to share with you parallel flow and counter flow diagram for steam generator and one more thing here here what is happening doesn't matter what type of flow they are going to give you the answer would be same for lmtd i mean lmtd logarithmic mean temperature difference will be same for parallel flow as well as counter flow this is the real beauty of getting question in this topic okay i have already proved all this i mean i have solved so suppose that this is thi and here also the same right exit say and uh, definitely temperature will increase tci and tce the parallel flow and in case of counter flow what will happen this would be like this thi the tci tce okay this two are for the case of condenser only for the case of condenser okay so here steam temperature is same steam and here the cold coolant of water or something else even most of the time we use water its uh, temperature is keep on increasing because of this steam temperature and one most important thing that i'm just i'm going to share with you in case of steam generator in case of steam generator it is just like reverse just what you want to do you need to understand its basic concept let me share with you this is for parallel flow and this is for counter right parallel flow and counter flow here what will happen in the case of parallel flow suppose that this is flue gases suppose that say flue gases and thi is entering th is exit and here water is suppose that going on TCI and TCE. As you can see, this is just jumping. I'm just opposite to each other. Here we are using water, and it says this is what steam generator. Okay, and uh, water is boiling here. You can say that water is boiling here. That means the temperature uh, water is boiling here into steam, and in that case we are just driving flue gases. In this case, I mean we can do this. to increase you can say efficiency also we can increase that we can use the waste flue gases to increase efficiency of this okay i mean we, we can utilize utilize waste flue gases here also this is for parallel flow this is for parallel flow now let's go for this one this is for counter flow right so here it will happen water is flowing like this tci tce and this would be like this so the what is the major difference here as you can see major difference is this that direction here see the direction is this side right hand side here the direction is left hand side i don't know for which side you were watching this video but for me this is like this right so 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 what is the most important case i have shared with you that is you have to know these two cases first because you cannot see these diagrams all the time in mean, most of the time they just they just going to give you input temperature or exit temperature you 
E and they will give you this is the case of steam condensation. So where where exactly we are going to make mistake? You will just you don't know what is the value of input or exit. But the both both values you are not going to know. So that's why you need to know the cases diagrams for these two cases: steam condenser and a steam generator. I hope you understand some uh, crucial concept regarding heat exchanger for competitive examination point of view or numerical approach. I must say. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye.